you know how we're doing it. There we go. It finally came in. Two minutes in and it finally clicked in. It's because of you guys being distracting. That's what it is. No, she doesn't need to be. Uh, she's supposed to be on the other shot. Uh, See, they want to take over. Nobody Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, guess what? I messed up. I do errors all the time. That's why we call it Real Talk. And every time I think I got the glitch out, I didn't. We were talking about uh, my guest my guest host boobs sitting next to me. <laughs> we're talking about her co-host that's on her other side. You guys will see her in a minute. I believe she's right there. I'll do you guys a favor. I'll send you guys over there, there real quick. Go. So you, you guys can look at her. You guys can look at them. You know what? I, I, we forgot to edit the Instagram for you. We forgot to edit the Instagram for you guys. Edit. The Instagram. To put in a new name for the Instagram. <gasps> totally missing. Doesn't make a That's difference. Okay. This is live. This is real talk. This is what we do. We have fun. These are the lovely ladies of the four-letter word. Woo! This is Lainey, right? Yeah. I said it right? Yeah. I don't like the fact that my hand can go, like, right there. I don't <laughs> like that. And then this is her. Ho Just go anywhere else. Right? <laughs> <laughs> this is Lainey. And this is Jennifer. I think I spoke more to Jennifer when I first... I, you introduced me, and I think I spoke more to her than I did to you. We texted a lot. Yes, I, you and I, I went mean, back I and forth. Simpatico. Episode, yeah. But you gave me the very, like, oh, my God, you're funny, and I actually like the stuff you do. So I was like, she must hate what I do. <laughs> I felt like she hated what I because I never heard a word from her. No, Lainey. Never. She just wasn't on the group. chat. <laughs> and, and that happens. Ladies and gentlemen, chat, so she me off the there is so much going on in such a little bit of time. There's a lot of things we got to wrap our heads around. We were talking about Donald Trump. My mics were down as usual. When you're a one-man band, you make mistakes. So please forgive me. I'm working out the kinks, but the show is going to go on. So just remember, Monday through Thursday, we will be talking about Real Talk, 1030 at night. Sit back, relax, enjoy yourself. It's going to be a special ride that only your man, Mr. Direct, can give you. We had a lot of fun. We were talking about clowns before. You guys have kids. Are any of your kids scared of clowns? My younger daughter was not specifically afraid of clowns. She was afraid of dressed up characters. So literally Mickey Mouse screaming through the night. Do you remember, remember we were at Hershey, Hershey Park. Park? She was on my husband's <laughs> head like a koala mm -hmm. screaming bloody murder. She's over it. She's over it she's now? She's 10. Yeah. Well, I mean, listen, at least she's over it. Listen, this this is a great thing. I got the automatic switch, so while we're talking, it'll just switch back and forth between our cameras so I don't have to do the work anymore. So, I, okay, so I'm terrified of clowns. I have no problem. Grown men that want to, like, put on makeup and then, like, <laughs> hang out with kids. Don't judge. It's scary. It's really scary. <laughs> um, and what makes, you know, I got a funny, I got a really funny story for you, no lie. Um, I was dating this girl for a while. And then she said that she, her sister was dating this guy and that he had a fetish for clown adult movies. That was his thing. What? I'm just saying. <laughs> Listen, it's real talk. We're going we're gonna to keep it clean. Where did he find them? But th that's, what that's what I it's said. That's what I said. Like, <laughs> what are you searching for that? In the Bozo, like, is that the. <laughs> I don't know. Now, I told them I would keep this as clean as possible, and I don't know if we're going to be able to do that. I, I got to work yeah. this out. I got to work this out. But no, long story short, when she told me that, I was a little, like, perplexed. Like, what kind of a man would be into yeah. clown stuff? But it got me thinking, are people really scared of clowns or are people scared of the emotion that clowns bring out in them? Because some things bring out certain emotions in you. Like for me, when I see clowns, I'm scared as hell. I don't remember anything cool about clowns. So really, it's the fear of what I have of clowns that really when I see it, I'm like, yo, you better. Like <laughs> I did an event one time on a weekend and a dude came over. He's like, hey, how you doing? Regular voice, not the bozo, the clown crap. And I told him, yo, you got five seconds to get the hell out of my face. So I'm going to beat that ass. And he's looking at me like I'm crazy. He's like, dude, what's the problem? I go, you got five seconds to get the hell away from me or I'm going to beat that ass. And I wasn't trying to be mean. I was just trying to say, like, I didn't want to tell him I'm scared. I was trying to be a man. I was trying to be manly. Like, yeah, I, I, I can handle this. But the only way to be manly was to tell him I was going to beat his ass. And I felt bad. For like two seconds, because if he had gotten any closer, I was going to beat that ass. <laughs> I'm just saying. So there's that. Then, ladies, Donald Trump, how do you guys feel about somebody not paying taxes for a year? Oh, 
that's just the tip of the iceberg. I How I feel no, it wasn't it. a year. It, well, that was a year. 20 years. Yeah, 20, 20 years. years. Um, you guys the other day when you were in here, you were trying to convince me to vote for Hillary Clinton. Say what? Oh, listen. I, you were trying to convince, <laughs> let's be honest. You guys were like, why won't you vote for her? I told you why. Wait, but you, you, you got to give the whole story. You have to give the context, okay, uh, which okay. was you were not going to vote for Donald Trump. But I'm you not going to vote for Hillary you either. Vote, you anyone, said were you? you were going to write in me. fake. The, vote, I sent you guys the video. The pimp playboys okay. oh, running yeah. for but office. So that to me is not voting. Not that voting. is voting. So, and no. that to me is if you if you are voting for is that not my right? Hillary, it's a vote for Donald. Is Trump. that not my right to vote it for whoever I want? It's mocking right. the system too. And yeah, I mean, it, like saying, is it my right to you know wear my underwear on my head? Yeah, but it's not particularly you know. I think it's too serious of an election to. Um, yeah, yeah. To have fun with <laughs> right now. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Now I got to tell you to talk into the microphone. I thought I was going to have to tell her. You know, I'm going to bust there you out go. the song in a second. And well, that's, that's, gonna be that's a the thing. actress in you. That's the yeah. actress in you. Ladies and gentlemen, I didn't introduce them properly just because we had a whole kibosh. I got all excited. It was like my first show <laughs> for the rest of the time that I'm doing it. And I had this, these beautiful ladies in the room with me. Oh, I was so excited. <laughs> yeah, go on, right? Go on. Go beautiful, on. talented, Happy amazing. Um, I have to admit... I was a little bit, you know, like, uh, I got to handle this, get it done the right way. What's going on is I have these two beautiful women. I have Jennifer Harrison, who's the writer for the four-letter word. Now, if you're not aware of what the four-letter word is, it's a web series, and it's basically on YouTube, correct? Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's hilarious. Uh, don't take your man, Mr. Word, Mr. Direct. I was like, Mr. Word. Mr. Don't Mr. take <laughs> the word of Mr. Direct, okay? Don't, don't take your man, Mr. Direct's word. You guys are going to watch a couple of pieces of them. They're about five minutes in length. And you, for yourself, will be able to figure out if it's funny or not. I think it's hilarious. Thank you. Thank you. I was we impressed by the right. writing. And the other person is Lainey Ventura. Did I say it correct? You did. Thank cool, you. cool, cool, cool. I don't mind that y'all don't see me right now. Y'all don't need to see me. I'm not good looking enough to be on air. <laughs> oh. But you guys get it. You, you guys get it. I'm going to throw my, there. I'm going to just throw me back into the whole entire thing. It's the four-letter word. Ladies, I want you guys to take the time and describe the four-letter word to me. Like, this, be, I love your vibe. I want to say before we start getting into questions and everything, you guys, like, play off of each other like Tweedledee and Tweedledum. You're Tweedledum. Okay. I'm Tweedledum, dum, dum, dum. Like, 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 and I don't mean that as an insult. Thank you know, when your kids, no, when your kids, you. when you're younger, your, kid, your parents are always like, that's Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Right, when you yeah. see no, one, you see the other. You guys play <laughs> off of each other so well. And I imagine... That's a natural chemistry, and it's hard. It's very hard to find that type of natural chemistry. I want you guys just to take the time and tell us about the four-letter word. Um, okay, so we sort of, uh, it's like if Lucy and Ethel became friends with the Mean Girls. That's what it is. Lucy and Ethel was the bomb, Ethel. though. She get, I know. Well, she gets to be Lucy. I get to be the yeah. frumpy one, but that's Okay. <laughs> Um, you do frumpy so good. I do frumpy so well. No, you're not frumpy. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's basically these two awkward moms uh, who got into the cool crowd with women who don't particularly respect them, but or are even waiting. like them, I think, or most even of like the time, them, or pay them. Any but they're attention. waiting for them to come around and be cool to catch yeah. some of the cool. And um, we're just a mess. And yeah. Where we get into lots of zany antics and. Yep. As Always sort of an epic fail at the end right. where whatever they try to do just doesn't quite work the way they had hoped. That's Would you right. call it an adult version of Mean Girls? In a way, yeah. I mean, in, in Mean Girls, she wasn't such a wipeout, the Lindsay Lohan character. Yeah. And our characters, Chris and Leah, are... It's more like Lucy and Ethel meet. Yeah, girls, exactly. Right? Yeah. yeah, but they are mean moms. Yeah. Not that there's such a thing as that. No. Oh, no. In our community, everyone's nice. <laughs> and we hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. In oh. our community, everyone's nice. Mm. Actually, you the mean, you mean like the mom? Schools. You mean like the mom that described what diversity was for the area? Are you talking about that? <laughs> no, I don't know. What, uh, <laughs> we didn't describe anyone in particular. When people describe the diversity of our area. I missed that. I don't Sorry. You don't remember the Haitian. Vietnam you don't remember the Haitian family that adopted the Chinese kid. In this, in no. In this community, oh, you guys are all over it. Was Lainey, that, that's a good I story. set that up perfectly, and you tried to kill the joke. 
You I perfectly tried to kill it. It's okay. <laughs> I'm going to let it go. You killed it. You guys I'm absolutely killed it. <laughs> I'm the one that drank, and I know I'm aware of what I said. So I'm totally insulted We're not by in that. Loop, okay? You're all in the loop. So, with that being the case, it's listen, it's the four letter word. I want you guys to watch a segment. This one. I believe is, I think I played the poop one first, which was my favorite. I watched all four, oh, well, oh, you which did most it. people send me stuff and they're like, oh, look at this and look at this. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not looking at damn thing. I looked at all your stuff. <laughs> Thank you. As a matter of fact, like Lainey said, I did stalk her page just a little bit. Oops. Ladies and gentlemen, felt it. did you felt like the vibe? This, yeah. You well, felt I the got vibe? this weird like burning sensation. And, no, that was but, something else. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Right. Way too much information. <laughs> We're supposed to keep this PC friendly. <laughs> We're going to go in. We're going to look at. Oh, I'm so done. We're only 13 minutes in. How am I going to make it for the rest of the show? Check out an episode of The Four Letter Word. So, Roseanne, Roseanne felt my breast yesterday. yesterday. Your tits are huge. Are they real? Duh. Yeah. I don't believe you. Let me feel them. Come on. Well, that adds an interesting dynamic to the group. It wasn't sexual or anything. I don't know. Maybe this is what cool people do. No, it's not what cool people do. It's what lesbians do. No, I mean it. Maybe it's like a sexual confidence thing or something. I've never heard of it. Ted's always talking about that woman she lived with in Prague. Constructed a sex palace with. <laughs> yeah, that one. <laughs> I think they did it. Just an easy, whatever kind of thing. Okay, well, I'm so far beyond trying to figure out if what Ted does is normal. She has her pubic hair threaded. Can't use her as the rubric. Leah, I'm not kidding. I think the hip moms all experiment. Lattes and muff diving? Sure, it's Tuesday. Okay, we'll let them. I left peer pressure behind in the eighth grade when I let Adam Farber lick my armpits. I'm not going back there. Listen to me. We're in the cool crowd now, maybe on the cusp of fabulousness. We take this one last step, we could be legends. What are you proposing? Okay, I'm out. You can't give up. <laughs> I can't do this. You're my best friend. Our kids have play dates. We don't need cunniling us to solidify things. We don't need to go down on each other. Maybe just rub around a little. I have a better idea. Let's not. Come on, you know, a little. Rubby, rubby. You're depraved. Do it for Roseanne. No. Do it for me. Do it for Ellen DeGeneres. Don't you pull out Ellen now? I am. You know I love her. Then show that love. Show me that love. Not even for Ellen? <laughs> Let's just... <laughs> oh, dance with me. The forbidden dance. <laughs> Come on, get up. hand off my ass. You're not working with me. This doesn't feel right. Don't make me slip you a roofie. I don't have a roofie. I believe it might work just as well. I'm not gay. I'm not even curious. I'm not attracted to you. Oh, Chris. That was so mean. I know, I'm sorry. You know I haven't been feeling very attractive lately. That's so stupid, you're beautiful. Look at your cheekbones. My hair is a frizzball. No, your hair is like a lake of silky hairiness. God. Seriously, you're the prettiest one out of all of us, even Roseanne. Really? Yes, that's why she's always glaring at you. You're clearly the hot one, so she's gotta be the bitchy one. You're not just saying that? No. You're beautiful. Make love to me. Oh, come on. Fine, then. Fine. But 
we're going to lie about it, right? Absolutely. And we are back live with the ladies from the four. Le- that is a funny. <laughs> that's the lesbian episode. Wait, that episode to me. Now? Yes, thank you. You were you were too, you were way too close. Here, put the mic over there. Way too close. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Look at this. Your man, Mr. Direct, got his own. No, boob is still in my. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I just checked just to make sure. I didn't even I didn't even put the camera live to you. I just looked in my own camera. It was like, oh look, I still see boob. Hey. Oh, I'm Mr. Direct. I see booby. I'm just saying. <laughs> I see dead people. See it could boobies. be worse. No, listen, honestly though, that is a funny episode. The lesbian e- has as moms has that ever what made you come up with that concept because that is crazy beyond crazy she hit on me in the bar when i first met her so <laughs> she, ah. oh that's oh, true tell the truth. you know it's true Ugh. um i don't know where that came from where did that come from i don't know I think I but just we wrote used it. to talk about it we used to talk about stuff like that you know girl crushes and things like oh, that oh yeah no yeah. that's true yeah yeah, I guess we thought it would be really funny what would happen if, if. we felt pressure. Not not that we wanted mm-hmm. to fool around with each other, but we felt peer pressure. You know, again, it's all Exper- back to Women that. experimenting has become very popular over the years, and I guess maybe that's... I don't remember, like, it's like what brainstorming the, about that particular idea. You yeah, and, and yeah. what what's the cool crowd doing now? And yeah. us feeling like we have to do it because we're practically... We act like we're back in high school and we're with these cool moms. So it's like, oh, well, if they're doing it, we should do it. So we almost consummated. Yeah. <laughs> almost consummated. <laughs> was close. How? Okay. Ooh. So you want? So you're the writer, and you're actually more so the actress. Actress producer. Ha- actress producer. How did it feel to like actually like do that scene? Like, okay, we've got to totally fake this. It w- no, I mean, it, well, you know, the first couple of rehearsals when we were first blocking it, you know, it was. I mean, we were very. We've good been friends, friends we've, for a long yeah, time. Okay. We have made yeah. very inappropriate jokes with each other, yeah. so there's nothing that Jen and I can't talk about or joke about, right? So I think it was just that moment of, let's just get it. Let's just do it once. Yeah. And, and then, At and then we were like, like oh that's kind of like, kind of like, like, oh, like when I'm somebody's really going to grab her ass now. <laughs> kind of like when someone's going to lose their virginity. Let's just do it and get it over Let's with. Just do it <laughs> like that. I'm just, I'm just like, asking. We'll tell everyone it was good. Nothing like yeah. that. You got it. So, so you had to fake it. Okay. So, and that was great. It was fun. When though, you decided really to be, but when we you, worked d- hard, we worked a lot on that. We that rehearsed was, that a lot. That was very exhausting and it was hot. It was hot. And it was like it's hot down here. Like I thought I turned down. on the air conditioning. Yeah. My God! It was also, like 123 <laughs> percent humidity. Oh my yeah, God! It was like summer. My braids are frizzing. We and couldn't we're put sweating. the air conditioning on because yeah. of the sound. It was bad. Thank nope, you. that's fine. Yeah. Right. But it was fun. We worked a lot. We we blocked it out fully, and then we just no. But that's good. Um, four. Yeah. How did you two meet? I said she hit on me in the bar. R- literally. I knew you said that, but I just wanted to make sure if she that was true wishes. or not. She wishes. I hit on her. About it. <laughs> exactly. No, we... Um, I begged her. Lainey and her family had just moved mm. from L.A., mm-hmm. and our older daughters were in class together on the first Okay, day so school. you're both family women. You yeah, both yeah. are moms. Yeah. Yep. You're both working moms, and, you know, this you've got... what we do. You got the whole... So it, that's what makes it funnier is the fact that it's actually, like, working moms, and yeah. this is the... Yeah. Hey, this is kind of the stuff that we encounter every now and then, kind of like Sex in the City, except for, for moms. Sex yeah. in the City for the people, moms. A lot of people have said that. With cheaper clothes. With cheaper yes. clothes, okay. Yeah. Well, very low understand, yeah. it's, hard, it's, hard to be, it's hard to be working class moms and be that fashionistas, yeah, okay? You can't do well, both. That's true. I mean, I, I, I mean, list, literally, you don't have the budget for it. We are yoga pants fashionistas. <laughs> which brings us to our fundraiser. Yes, which is We're, Which I was about oh, to, you know, know yeah. why are y'all trying to stay? I was going to get you there, like, in a moment. We know the segue, <laughs> we are, Mr. Yes, we are taking over. I was trying to on. take you there, but you guys are just like, no, we're going to run this show <laughs> the way we want. You there. Listen, we're women. We will lead you. You will follow. <laughs> That's why they call this Mr. Direct's Real Talk. Y'all messing with me right now. <laughs> I've only sworn really one hard time on this, and y'all killing with me right now. But okay, so you did the first four. You did the first four episodes. What was the reception to that? Amazing. It was really good. Amazing. And like, did you discover like some people just were like, "Oh my god, I didn't know." Like, 
some people see me do stuff and they're like, I didn't know you were yes. that talented. And, yes. Oh, everybody yes. was like, I didn't know you could act. <laughs> yeah, is that you on there? Especially because, I mean, yeah. Lainey's an actress. Yes. I used to be an actress, but, you know, anyone who but she's is great. Thank you. Like, but you anyway, guys, like, feet all, like, <laughs> she's she great. Didn't originally write this for, I mean, I think you wrote it in your voice, but right. she hadn't thought about playing the role. And okay. I know, I think I had asked you a couple of times. L- Lainey was reading it, and she said, who should I be picturing? Yeah. And I said, sort of the goofy girl next door, like Julie Bowen, but not as pretty. And then I was like, picture me. Now, are just you a natural yeah. writer? Is that just your thing? You love to write? That's my... That's my that's thing. What she that's your thing. That's, that's right. it. So is is this the only thing you've written? No. I used to, uh, not I used to, I, I mostly write uh, feature length screenplays. She's in a multi award winning screenwriter. Okay, look at her. And you yourself, because you're an actress, what's your background? Like, I know you did a little uh, soap <laughs> operas and stuff no, like that. No, I've done uh, most films. a lot of commercials. Um, mm hmm. A bunch of indie films. A couple okay. of indie things. Yeah. Award winning film. Award winning. A couple of award winning. Actually, Lainey. I have a film now that's in a festival that's doing really well. I have a very small part in a feature called Sweet, Sweet, Lonely Girl that has been um, doing really beautifully in the film really festivals well. right now. No, that's La- okay, so this is something you don't know, Mr. Drake. Uh oh. Do you know who Laney is? Well, Laney is. Who is Laney? <laughs> Uh, Who she's is a, she's the lady that's Lainey. sitting here right here, right now. Yes, I, just, I thought. Clairol. The Clairol oh, yes, okay. Orgasm. Commercial yeah. lady. The Clairol orgasm lazy. The woman in the shower screaming yes, yes, yes. That was my girlfriend last week, but that's another story. Oh, <laughs> no, focus. <laughs> hey, you set him up, I knock him down. Yeah, but Lainey meant it when she was doing <laughs> it. She wasn't pretending. So, okay, so you guys did your first series. You got your next series coming up. Next well, it's season. the next it's season. It's the next yeah. season coming same up. So you did season next one, same show. How many are coming? So the first one was four. Yeah. How many was the next one? How many have, is the next one coming well, up? The next one is however much we can raise yes. money we have tw- to make. What, how, what do we have, 20 written? We have 24 written. 24 episodes <laughs> written and ready to shoot. And yes. you guys are raising money for this. We, we are raising money. Oh, and, I mean, and there it is right there. It was, you know what it was? It, you know what it was yeah. for me? It was because I've been doing this for a while and I got so many people that, you know, like, yo, like when I saw, when people started seeing me do the video side of this on Facebook, mm-hmm. they're like, yo, I got something to promote. Can I come on? And I'm always like this, like, oh, you didn't like me. Right. You couldn't stand me. Where you didn't understand you? real talk. Now, all of a sudden, you see me going out, and you're like, oh, man, you got, like, 1,200 people watching you. Yo, can I get on? And I'm kind of like, yo, you know what? See, I got to keep this PC friendly. Let's just say I tell them where they can go. But anyway. You should tell them if you can get 5,000 to watch me, I will yeah. invite you. And, and there you go. Yeah. If you yeah, could yeah. bring people with you. But I always got to play it back when people are like, did you see what I did? I'm always like, yeah, you know, I kind of Well, I wanted to make sure you knew what we were doing, what we were up to. Well, and what the, the four-letter word. Yeah. And listen, some of my favorite words are four letters. Me too. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, drop, so I have no problem with yeah. the usage of four-letter words. So I was like, ooh, this has got, and it's women, yes. which your man, Mr. Direct, loves the ladies. And have you seen? And I mean, beautiful. You seen us, you, have you seen the other two? Seen I've the seen the other two. two. I love yeah, the lady with the little. accent. Oh, who doesn't? The oh, lady yeah. with the accent is very beautiful. She walked out from her audition and we yeah, were like, we were like uh, that's it. Yeah. We're done. What do you mean she walked out? No, no. I mean, when she was when done. She was when she, oh, she, when we she was like, done? Okay, bye bye. Maybe we'll call. And she yeah. left, and we all fell to the ground. <laughs> like, Anita, we're <laughs> talking about you. What yeah. was her name? She's watching. I That's think. Anita Saberwall. She plays Ted. And she's, she's actually she's, British. She's, Is she? She's British. She's British, accent. She's British and she has that accent yeah. down to a science? Yeah. yeah. Well, she's an wow. Indian actress. Yo, from can, can you guys get 
her and the other lady on the show. Play your cards. All it's gonna four, cost right? You. Yeah, it's right. going to cost me. 2500 an episode. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if you guys want to donate, that. if you guys want to <laughs> donate to them, you got to check them out at Indiegogo.com. Yes. I-N-D-I-E-G-O-G-O.com. Check them out there. Make sure you donate. What we're going to do real quick is... Okay. You can say whatever sorry, you want, I'm obviously. Mr. Obviously, you can say whatever you want. She's Who cares? It's her I show. Am, yes, I'm the interrupting cow. I Whoa. see this. <laughs> you guys are killing me oh, right now. So Absolutely so killing so me. Um, now I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, in to... our town, if you are a local Scotch Plains Fanwood person, for every $25 you contribute, you get your name in the hat, and uh, we're gonna live. We're gonna live do it, right? Sure. Um, we're gonna have a lottery. It. We're gonna do a lottery, and if we pick your name, you will be in one of the episodes. Yep. Yep. Uh oh. So, are, are you serious? And we have lots of support from. Well, no, 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 no. You're putting so. me in. You wrote me into an episode, right? Not yet. Oh, see, this is some bogusness <laughs> right Show here. Me the money. This is some bogusness <laughs> right here. This is some pure. No, this is some pure. No, actually, you would be amazing. I, well, I know exactly. Yeah, but what it would that's be. the thing. We would love to have you in an episode, yeah. but we have to. Yeah, we have it to generate some more funds. But thing. we'll get there. We'll get we there. have already raised enough for two episodes. Yep. We have two guest stars lined up already. They are both super secret, top yes. secret. But well, one of them is has awesome. been announced. One of them has one been of announced. Them has been. If you look on the Facebook page for the Four Letter Word right. okay. series mm -hmm. on Facebook and like it so you get all of our posts mm -hmm. and then um, click on it and watch it on YouTube and you will see who our special guest is. Oh, okay. I won't reveal it, but... Oh, yeah. You, you, can't, you can't reveal it at all. Yeah, but it is. It has been Well, it's up, so it's up it's on our secret. website. It's up. So, it's up. so go so. for it, ladies and gentlemen. Well, go for it. Go to their site and they're on Facebook. On Facebook, what are you listed as? The Four, the four Letter, letter word, word Comedy Series. series. Can't go wrong with that. You guys got to check them out. You guys got to check them out. And they're going to, listen, here's the best part of the, all this. I'm going to play another episode for them. Yay. Then I want you, we're going to get into some real talk. Oh, boy. We okay? I don't know if you guys are ready for real talk the way, the I don't know if you guys are ready for real talk the way the, the way your man, Mr. Direct, is ready for real talk. We're ready. Um, But, you know, listen, when it gets in, we're going to get in. We're going to talk about some interesting conversations. Did you hear about Kim Kardashian? Kim Kardashian. Yes. <laughs> Have another shot, Mr. Drag. Kim, we're going to talk Drag. about it. Kim Kardashian. We're going to get just into that. The thought of her gets you all for clamped. Right. Well, I just don't know. <laughs> for clamped. Listen, don't mess with me. It's your man, Mr. Direct. We're going to do what we do best. We're going to play the pooping episode, which I love. I love the pooping. It's yeah, acting. Called poop, it's called, which is poop it's called well, I call it the pooping episode, but I know it's called poop. <laughs> You guys can check them out on YouTube. Check out when I'm going to play the link. Listen, I had these ladies. They hysteric. Every time I'm around them, I laugh because they're funny and they're cool. <laughs> Chemistry's crazy. Ladies, we're going to play the poop, epi the poop episode, <laughs> and then we're going to come back and we're going to get into some real talk like only your man, Mr. Direct, can do. We'll be back in a moment. Okay, but where do you put your thumb? Mm. In front, just sliding it in. Okay, but don't pinch. No, never pinch. Just graze. Oh, that's my agent. I have to take this. Hi, baby. Mm-hmm. Really? Today? I have a commercial audition today. Fabulous. Uh-huh. Casual dress, and you'll send the sides? Sides are script pages. Uh-huh. Oh, <laughs> I'm terrific at improv. Improv. Stop whispering at us. Hey, can I bring a few friends? They'll hang back. He says you can hang. Stop it. Okay. God, can you imagine if they asked us to be extras? I'm no one's extra. Hey, maybe you can style her. Look at his shirt. Do you think he can afford me? Hmm. You have to have your standards. Well, commercial work isn't necessarily beneath me. Listen, I'm a stylist, so if you need anything. She doesn't need styling. Sweetheart, everyone needs styling. You know what, guys? You don't need to stay. It'll be boring. Boring? It's amazing. No, seriously, go grab a juice or something. Just do this so we can go, will you? Best a storm in here. Yeah, you don't want mesothelioma. And I don't want to get dust in my leather pants either. Come on, Chris. <gasps> wow. 
What the fuck? It's no big deal. Meryl Streep did a hemorrhoid spot in the 80s. No, she fucking didn't. Okay, I need quiet, please. State your name. Hi, I'm Chris Clancy. Now look like you're peeing. I'm sorry? You're trying to hold back, but the pressure's too great, and out she flows. Uh-huh. But you're wearing handy pants, so you can be confident that no one will see, but we do. Uh-huh. On your face. So, what's my motivation? Your what? My intention. Um, urinating? Yeah. Let me just feel the pressure. I studied Meisner. Going back to potty training. Going back to the pod. Listen, I've got people waiting. Okay, okay. <sighs> she just took a shit. We don't want poopy. We want pee pee. That was pee pee. When we threw his hand, that was poopy. More like shitty. Very. Yeah, don't look like you're taking a dump or anything. Just look like you're leaking a little. <sighs> that was number two again, right? I can practically smell it. Listen! I'm the actress. This is pee. This is what I look like when I do pee. Don't tell me my job. I peed. I think I actually peed. Okay. Thanks for coming in. Hi, babe. I didn't get it. We are back. We are back. Back for a little bit of real talk with who? Your man, Mr. Direct, with my beautiful guest this afternoon, tonight, this evening. I don't know what the hell you want to call it. The <laughs> ladies from the four letter word, Jennifer Harrison. And you keep telling me how to say your name. I thought I said it right. Yeah, Laney, ain't it? Yeah. Laney Ventura. Laney, ain't it? Laney, ain't it? Laney, ain't it? No. That's your porn name. I'm not Sorry. feeling it, yo. No, it's not. They're oh, killing no me. Way. Ladies and gentlemen, they are absolutely killing me. That's, you know, your first dog and then the street you lived on? I'm getting murdered Lynn over Aspen. here. Lynn I want Aspen? you guys to know. No, I'm Samantha Bay 17. That would be I want you guys to realize <laughs> I'm getting murdered over here. But still, we're having fun. We're having a little bit of real talk. The poops, the poop episode. The poops. The poops. The poops. I've got the poops. Poops is five letters. What yeah. is absolutely your inspiration to write an episode about first of all i want to tell you when you go see the no no (laughs) this afternoon i'm loading it up and i'm working on the production i load it up and in the background i just let it play and i forgot to like stop it 80 million new videos about the proper way to poop the proper way to sit on a what toilet. Is the video for that. Everything is coming out. It's <laughs> it's it's, it's <laughs> like I'm like I get it because it's all analytics and hey you wrote poop. analytics. A- hey. Analytics. See here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> analytics. I'm Mr. Direct. Really. I'm so done with you right now. <laughs> I'm not. I can't. I can't. Fire me. Come on, fire me. But no, what I'm saying in in in, in the short or the small, what I'm saying is, I found it hilarious because. How, who, first of all, who doesn't talk about strange episodes of taking a poop? Things that have happened to them when they've had to go. Yeah. Who hasn't been down that avenue? I've actually just, you know, I, I got an analogy. Uh, I said, breaking up with people is like taking a shit. You never want to look back at it. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't want to go back and sleep with it two weeks later. Either, so have you been down there? You. I'm just joking with you. Uh, with ex- <laughs> the, look, the look of shock on your face is quite, you're like, what? Uh, <laughs> I say, yeah. Look, I'm not saying I haven't. I'm 
<laughs> you slept with your shit? Okay, we're just good. <laughs> I'm just asking. Watch what you call him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting, not naming names. You're getting kind of defensive of it, which made me think. Right? Which made me think of when we're thought when we're talking about. It, I said, yeah, "What's the weirdest place you ever had to go?" Number two, like Laney? honestly, in the woods. In the woods. Camping, yeah. When I was a kid, we would go camping, and we had to take a shovel and dig our own little lo- latrines. Mm-hmm. And we would you'd generally find that one huge tree that had fallen in the woods, and that would be the seat. And oh, many a time, many a time. And yes. you, young lady, where was your strangest? I have a good story. I have a good and well, not good. I have an interesting peeing story. Is that not? Well, no, as peeing don't count. It doesn't uh. count. Peeing don't count. Nothing interesting. You're cheating because you're cheating the system. You're cheating the system when you say pee. We're talking about number two. I don't know. I've only ever gone in the traditional. You're telling me you never had to go badly someplace and you're like, oh, my God, I got to take a dump here. (laughs) You've never done that. I have literally never done that. But I've also only ever been camping once. Prissy white girls. I swear to God. Sorry. (sighs) You know, at least she's giving me the woods. I cleaned. (laughs) She's at least giving me the woods. Oh, my God. I didn't say that one, Mr. Girl. I cut. I you walked had, into that one. one. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to leave that one alone. I actually cleaned a bathroom in a diner once because I had to go so badly and I wasn't going to make it home. So we stopped in this diner when we lived uptown in the city. And um, it was it, it was so horrendous, the bathroom. I couldn't even, so I, I, I had to, and I was like bouncing around like this, with it, cleaning it. I cleaned the toilet, I cleaned around it before I could go. It was gross. Uh, I, it was awful. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot of information. Sorry. You have too many poop stories. I, I have a lot of could have yeah. given me that one. Sorry. Now, oh, okay. Right? Yeah, you're right. I could have. What was your, out, out of the four, because I told you to peep the poop one, it was between a lesbian and a poop, but the poop one was actually my favorite. Yeah. Your acting chops on that one, terrific. Yeah. Like, totally. And I told you when we were watching, I said a little Samantha-esque. Oh, yeah. You had a little Samantha from Sex Thank and the City in that. Totally. Well, you that. resemble her. Do I? Yes. Yeah. A little bit. Really? Yeah. There's a little I bit that there. body. Oh, God. Yes. <laughs> you know what's amazing about her? The She was in Sex and the City, but you totally forget of all the movies that she did before then. Porkies. Yeah. Like, she was, she yeah, was in Mannequin. Porkies. Wasn't she in Mannequin? What, what, what did they call her? her? What did they call her in Porkies? Oh, God. But she was... Right, exactly. <laughs> was she Miss Cherry something? No, she wasn't Cherry Desire, but she was she was in Porky's. She was. She was. Yeah. She was the she was the gym teacher who, if you took her up, there was something about the oh, gym that got know. her off. Right. Oh, they called. Oh, the gym teacher was like, oh. Right, 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 right. And she was the howler. The guy gets with her in the middle of gym class, and the next thing you know, Everybody everyone can it. hear she's so loud. He's like, yeah. damn it! He took a jock and shoved it in her mouth. <laughs> This, you know, I love this. Been there. No, you know what makes this great? <laughs> sorry. You know what? I'm good. I'm sorry. I'm so Toledo. good. I'm so good. <laughs> I totally thought she would be the problem child, and it turns out that it's you. I'm so done. You take turns. I have to ask before we end this. Can 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 you guys come back? I love you guys. Like, there's a vibe. Definitely. We'll think about it. There's a I say definitely yet. <laughs> sorry. I don't know. If I'm hard no, to get. I don't be such yes. an easy. Don't you be know so what easy. Is? Well, she's very easy. She is oh, too much. Um. I no, she's been. married. She can't be easy. Um, <laughs> I'm allowed to say that. <laughs> I don't even, I, I can't think of I, Me too. I was like, 80 things went through my head. And I was like, leave him. Leave him right there. Leave him ask there. My, so it doesn't say, leave him there so it doesn't sound like he's kind of any type of funny at all. <laughs> like, totally just don't laugh at it and just blank out. Like, what? What was that? Like, nothing. Okay. I'll accept that. You guys don't want to laugh at my jokes. I know I'm funny. <laughs> I have no problem with that. Faking that? again. Yeah. I was watching Mean Girls tonight. Who's Regina and who's Katie? Because we were talking about it before. Who would be Regina oh, really? and who would be Katie? Well, well Regina Re- was... Um, Roseanne is Regina. Yeah, for sure. She's the tall She's brunette. The tall. Mm-hmm. Well, she has the faces. She has the great, like, when there's the, no... Those, when you, there's you nothing... Trailer, yes. Oh. When there's no verbiage going on, yeah. if the camera cuts to her, you can tell... Every emotion, because yeah. she is perfect in the description from the face. Perfect. She can find her light. Yes. She walked in yeah. to her audition yes. and sat down. She was wearing like a red, was red she wearing that red? Dress, like, yeah. Looked like 10 million bucks. And like $8,000 Scared the crap out yeah. of us. <laughs> and then she, when she was done, she said, 
was that bitchy enough? Yeah. <laughs> and we were like, uh-huh. By the way, guys, yeah. if you guys want to donate, it's all about donating to them. If you thank didn't you. know that, you, you you have to know that you have to donate to them. You got to go to... Real Talk and wanted to do an interview with me. This is so fun. This is really fun. I'm enjoying them being in here. I'm mad that they wouldn't you get a drink. as funny as we are. Oh, <laughs> shit. Oh, snap. Yeah, you guys can go now. I silent for a second. I know. You, you, that was dead you guys, air right you, was, you guys can get the hell mean. off of my damn <laughs> airwaves now. I don't want you around I'm anymore. I'm taking my mic and I'm going home. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't need y'all. I'm taking my mic. I don't need y'all in oh here cans. anymore. Okay. Yeah, speaking of cans, can you get out of my <laughs> You walked into that one. I did, I did. Um, no, um, so we, I'm sitting here trying to just go through this motions and y'all killing me right now. So yeah. let's get into some real talk because there's a lot of interesting things in the news. Okay, first I... of all, let's go back and talk about how we introduced about me not voting. Yeah, okay? yeah that's not okay. So I said I didn't want to vote because you I don't vote. like Donald Trump and I don't like Hillary Clinton. My knock on Hillary Clinton, I have no problem with telling him. I believe she's the most qualified. I will not knock that. Of everybody running, she's the most qualified. To me, and I will say this, it's not that she's a woman. It's that she's smug. However, I will say this. If a man had her attitude, I probably would be a little bit more receiving of it yeah. because we accept men acting like that. So I will admit to a certain level that smugness coming off from a woman mm-hmm. is a turnoff for me. Mm-hmm. However, I think I'm a progressive enough of a person to say, you're a woman. I've had women as managers. I don't care. It's, it's, can you do the job? Can I? Okay. Here's what I ask of you mm-hmm. and America. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because when we're electing a president, we're like, what do they look like? Who's their wife? Who's their husband? What do they, you know, sleep in? All these things. Pretend you're hiring a surgeon, okay? There are two people who want to be your heart surgeon. Sorry. (laughs) Yeah, you might not want to start your phone while you're playing. That's why I turn my phone off. I was getting bored. (laughs) But. It's nice to know we're boring (laughs) the shit out of her. I mean, come on. If there were two people vying to be your heart surgeon and one was an absolute buffoon who who clear who had never operated before and the other had operated time and time again and was smug who are you going to hire whose business are you going to get that's that's it doesn't matter if she's smug it doesn't matter if he and to be quite honest I um, admitted to my husband yesterday, I think he's kind of charming at times. Who? Donald Trump. And he tells people what they want. Now it's getting a little crazy, but from the very beginning, I was listening to a speech that he was making, and I said to uh, my husband, I know now why people like him, because he's saying everything that everyone wants to hear. 100%. Now it has gotten crazy, and all his crazy is really coming out. However, that's great if he were... I don't think he's in it to win it, though. I really don't, because he says things that if you're really in it to win it, why would you say that? Because yeah, I think he's, he's getting because he, he knows because he, he knows no, he can get away it's with a cast, it. Yeah. No, I say this all the time, and in my test shows, I said it, and I think people thought I was joking. Running for president, if you have the money, is a cash cow. If you can generate three, four, five, six hundred thousand dollars, you can get that money and have it come in. Well, six hundred, six hundred million. Okay, let's say it only spent at the end of it. Because think about it, everybody that's ever ran for president since. Ronald Reagan has, has, even if they don't win, has had money that sits there, literally just sits there. You can take that money and now put it into your pocket. You don't have to give it back to anyone. Because technically speaking, who are you going to give money back to? Right. 
oh, what, for last one in, first one out? No, you would have to give it back. And then if you run out, people would feel cheated. So basically, now he walks in here, he raises $300 million. He's bragging. Listen to what he says. We haven't spent as much money as you, and we're almost tied, right? I've only spent about $92 million while mm-hmm. you're spending $150, $250 million, right? So now he's saying, basically, listen, and it is, if I lose, which, and then he puts the conspiracy in everybody's head, if I lose, it's rigged, it's rigged yeah. because there's no way I could lose, right? Right? But if he loses, does he really lose when he gets a $250 million injection into his pocket? That he won't pay taxes on. That he won't pay taxes <laughs> yeah, on. Yeah, but what if he wins? That's the big but question. what if he wins? If he wins, the biggest joke is on us because that motherfucker, and yes, I, I dropped the mf or word, That's fine. should not be in office I, I, at I, all. There's I, no way you could convince me <laughs> he needs to be in office. I will never agree that he needs to be in office. Then you have to vote for Hillary or else he will mm-hmm. be in office. That's I can't. Final. I can't. I'm being honest. Well, Listen, we'll know who to you gotta. If that happens. It, We're like having an honest Grant. conversation. You're asking me. I'm telling you something uh, about Grant. me will not let Listen, me. That's but your, that's I'm not right. object. But I'm not objecting. As I'm saying, there's still a possibility of it happening. I'm just kind of just. Do you uh, have how many days to convince him? You <laughs> listen. Number eight. You know what I realized, ladies? You guys have been dominating the camera scene, except for your left boob. It's been dominating the right boob. It's the right one. Yeah, it's the right one. But uh, you guys have been—you guys have been dominating the whole entire camera scene. I'm like, yo, they've hardly seen me. Red's a good color. Like they've hardly ever seen me, like all show. We're almost like 50 minutes in, and y'all have, man, y'all. I know y'all love seeing my beautiful face, and as well, I didn't even share out. The guest calling line, how to talk in, nothing. Oh, call in, call in. We want to talk to you. There's a guest calling line, 347-205-957. When you're a one-man gang and you're doing it all, it's kind of hard to get it all done. But we do. We find a way to make it happen because it's what your man, Mr. Direct, does. These ladies have been wonderful, and now we're going to get into some real talk. Kim Kardashian. (laughs) Kim Kardashian. You want to talk to her? I don't follow all that stuff. You don't follow it. Okay. I mean, I hear about it. but Kim Kardashian was hijacked. She was gagged and bound into a bathtub in Paris. Okay? She always said, you know what's funny? Somebody said this. Somebody said this. I can't say it because we're trying to keep it clean. But somebody said it. She always wanted to date black guys. I I guess she found some real thugs over in Paris. Oh, my God. (laughs) But up, bump. Okay. <laughs> we'll just sit here still face. Like the, the white Jewish women jokes, okay? But here's yeah. the thing: when they said that, when they said that, I'm like, but how do we know that they were black guys that robbed her? How do you know it wasn't some? Listen, right. I've watched Taken. How do you know there wasn't some Czechoslovakian dudes that just kind of came in and was yeah. like, "Yo, I utter, good luck." That was okay. the, what the guy said. So I, I have a set of skills. What happened? I, I think they got into her. They hotel got into room. her hotel room yeah. and then they stole, I think, four to ten million dollars worth of jewelry. Yeah. First of all, okay. Who has ten million dollars? That worth was of jewelry? my first question, and but which makes me feel guilty because she really was terrorized. I don't care yeah. what kind of, you know, heinous no. human being she is. She doesn't deserve that. No, that's awful. But my second impulse is to say, a, who has that much yeah. jewelry, and b, who takes it with them on vacation? Yeah. Like, what's the matter with you? Um, listen, you're, you're, you're talking to the birds right there because I'm with you. Like, and it was funny. I was watching the show today, and they actually said, normally, don't you get replicas of that kind of stuff? Don't you get the replicas I mean, that kind of, the replicas represent it? You know. Really, she could, yeah. She, and I'm sure it was all insured up the wazoo. Yeah. So she's fine, but I do feel but bad what, did that she, she walk in on that. them or something? I think it's a setup. I, I think she's. I think she planned out herself. You do? I think she planned it. But see, that would be a terrible, terrible thing. To say. She's a publicity whore. She really didn't. She's a publicity she is, whore. But you don't think she gets enough? She's a publicity whore. Don't you don't get enough. Some people are so bent on being in the limelight, and when the limelight right. walks away and they feel it trickling away, they do the dumbest things to get right back in it. I told you, I told you about the stupid video I wanted to do with the with the uh, rubber stamp. Oh yeah, you know that's what I mean? That's stupid. That's brilliant. Don't don't leak it. Don't well, give it away. I, no, no, I, I'm not leaking it. But I told you, but that's a publicity stunt, and I could totally if I did leak it, we could totally see that on air somewhere. Someone takes yeah. that idea and pushes it. Yes. On video somewhere because That's they true. think of it like, oh, my God, how about I show up to an event and I pull that off? Right. Because they wouldn't understand the philosophy of it. Now, me as an amateur, sounds perfect. 
but an idiotic person whose star is starting to dive, right. they would totally jump on that. Because show, even if you show up to an award show and did it, that would be such a hijinks. Yeah. That would be such a crazy thing to do that they'd be like, oh my God, anything. People that show up drunk, I think they totally do that on purpose. But you know, I don't think really that they're did, alcoholics. If she really did set it up, and we're not saying that she did. Right. But if she did, they'll figure it out. Because that kind of stuff, they always figure that stuff out. Well, I think it was real because they actually, Kanye was in concert and Kanye actually jumped off the stage. Like he, well, he, he was like, again, he was like, I've got a family emergency. I gotta go. Bad. He said, I got a family emergency. I gotta go. So he actually, wow. he actually bounced. Yeah, but that, I mean, again, if if it's a, if it's a stunt, he's in on it. She doesn't do anything without him. Right? Uh, no, mm -hmm. a hundred. Listen, I agree with you a hundred percent. So I, I just sat there. Was like, you know what? I'm pretty sure there's something to it. One way or another, there's something to it. So you got to figure. So listen, you got to figure it out. So we had that. We got Donald. We got Donald Trump and his craziness and not paying taxes. We got that, and you know, like I really don't pay attention to that much more news. And we're almost out of the hour because I didn't want to keep you ladies all night because this could run for two hours. Is that like a nice way of saying? Get the hell out! No, 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 no. I don't want to keep you guys. I didn't. You don't have to go home, but you can't. You can't stay over. I wasn't going to keep you guys. I know you guys got kids. I know you guys got a lot of other things. I didn't want to keep you until twelve thirty at night. I listen. I told you guys I wanted you on. I didn't want to keep you guys all night. I didn't want to keep you like, oh my god, like, hey, you got to be here. You got to do that. I said no. They're going to come. They're going to be on the show. And once they're on a show, we're good for there. That's it. You know what would be great right now? What? Another little shot of that Indiegogo page. Oh my God! Are you serious? Are you serious? There you go. There's the Indiegogo page. There's the Indiegogo page. It's back. We got it. Refreshed. I want to see how much we've gotten so far. I don't care how much you've gotten so far. That's just that's a screenshot I took. Oh, oh okay. that's a screen. Okay, be yeah, happy. The number hasn't changed. So that just, made me be <laughs> just be happy. Just be happy. You guys happy. are killing me. We're happy. We're, We're so happy, happy to be here. So listen, you guys got to go to indiegogo.com. You guys got to make sure you check them out. Once you check them out, make sure you know everything that's going and on with them. Share, 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 share them friends. away. Share the love. Share Everybody the has to see an episode. <laughs> Everybody has to know about the episode and be part of it. We do have two other episodes too that they yes. can watch. Yes, you, you showed your there's, favorites. There's, yeah, there's there two, two other. Others. There's two a total others. of four. I showed the two that I yeah. love on purpose. There's good and what's the second one? Good and lies. Lies. Are the two lies is the one when you guys are getting your hair done. Yes. Yeah. Okay, the that good one I saw. The good one you guys open up in a bar or that, restaurant. Yeah, that restaurant, was the yeah. pilot. That was a pilot. Okay, that was yeah. a funny one too. Thank you. It was. They're which all one, funny. Which one of you was the whore? That would be me. Okay, you oh, were the whore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sixty-seven. Sixty-five. Sixty-five. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we all love to imitate Ted. You uh, bald sixty-five guy. <laughs> What? She says it so much fun. better than that. Yeah, you know what? Awful. That is funny the way she says yeah. that. She's so like, everything you she bald says is 67 guys? Right. Are you kidding me? I'm like, oh, man. <laughs> and like she her. says, you know what? She says it like the stern grandmother. Yeah. Like that deep, like, are you kidding me? Did you really do that? Like, yeah, I, I think, think I did. it's because it was more like, look at you. There's yeah, no way you possible. <laughs> That's why she was It doing. was a judgment call? It was yeah. a judgment call. It was yeah. a judgment oh, call. Judgment like, 100%. If, yeah. If, like, if Rosanna said it, she'd jealousy, be like, oh, too. you bald 65 guys. But yeah, no. <laughs> she was a little horrified, wasn't she, Roseanne? Like, yeah. even I haven't done that. Right. Well, I mean, sure, let's, sure. Let, let's be honest. 67 uh, no, guys I haven't is some done, shit. She hasn't done 65. Well, I hope not. I'm not I asking. Haven't. Close, though. That's Listen, how she came up with a number. We're keeping, this, <laughs> we're keeping this totally PG. Well, we kind of did. Kind of didn't. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I don't care about your, your, your past. You guys are married. I don't want your husband come looking for me and beating my ass. <laughs> so we don't want to ask those questions. Thank you for guys coming on the show. Pleasure. Matter of fact, I, I, hold on. Us. I forgot to do it the right way. I got to switch over. I always do these things, I swear. There we go. We're good. And, of course, Lainey gets two shots. I mean, she gets to be in both shots at one time. <laughs> She's here. She's there. <laughs> yeah, but your, your right boob doesn't go anywhere. It just stays on camera. <laughs> but <laughs> so many things Wait a minute. If I plant this just right. No, nope, you can't. It'll there. be like an Austin Powers thing yeah. when, like, she's holding the melons. <laughs> Do you want one of these? <laughs> you want some melons? He's, he's got the pitcher. Excuse me. 
I love that movie. Um, <laughs> as I told you guys, thank you for my special guest, Jennifer Harris and Elaine Ventura. Check them out on the four-letter word. It's your man, Mr. Direct, always giving you nothing but real people, real conversation. It's always, and I get to say this, motherfucking real talk. Tune in tomorrow. We're going to be doing some sports with my man, A. Kells. And I, he likes to talk sports. He's trying to tell me what he's going to talk about. We're going to talk about what your man, Mr. Direct, want to talk about. I run this. It's my show. <laughs> I put this shit together, not you. Damn it. I built it. Hey, it's your man, Mr. Direct. Until the next time.